Today, the U.S. Supreme Court is taking up its biggest case on homelessness in more than 40 years. The question, can a city ban homelessness even if the unhoused have nowhere to go? The city at the center of this case, Grants Pass in Oregon, wants to make it illegal to sleep on public land. For more than a decade, Grants Pass, Oregon has tried enforcing local encampment laws. That includes banning anyone who sleeps in public from using a blanket, pillow or cardboard box. Penalties include civil fines and a potential 30 day jail term for repeat offenders. So let's go ahead and bring in Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford now digging deeper into today's arguments and how it could impact Colorado. So Grants Pass in Oregon argues that it has to do this crackdown because of the unsanitary conditions and crimes that stem from this crisis. Advocates for the unhoused say this is making homelessness a crime. Right, and so we also heard justices from both sides suggesting that as well. Justice Neil Gorsuch saying at one point, you end up in jail for 30 days, then you get out, you're not going to be any better off than you were before in finding a bed. Justice Sonia Sotomayor saying, where are they going to sleep? Are they supposed to kill themselves not sleeping? Now here in Colorado, we are very familiar with the complexity behind the housing crisis and the struggles of people without homes in Denver. This case could impact us because we do have a camping ban in our city ordinance after giving warnings and checking to see if the unhoused person needs resources in certain circumstances. If a person continues to camp in violation of the ordinance, officers here in Denver can arrest that person or give them a citation. It's hard to know how the Supreme Court will rule on this case because we did see some conservative justices questioning Oregon's practices when it comes to criminalizing homelessness. If the Supreme Court decides that's unlawful, some local cities, including Denver, may have to change how they handle camping bans. People in Oregon shared their thoughts on the complexity of the issue. Some say allowing camping is harmful to the unhoused. Others argue they have no other place to go. I think that it is harmful for people to be living in public spaces, on streets and in parks, whatever bedding materials, when humans are living in those conditions. It, we think that that's not compassionate. Being homeless is very hard. It, day by day, we get harassed either by the cops or people driving by or our neighbors. They want their parks back, but there's nothing that they can do because we have a right to be homeless and live in the parks. Something the justices had to keep in mind. Now, while the Supreme Court really scrutinized the camping ban in Grants Pass, Oregon, some Supreme Court watchers say it is a toss up on how they could end up ruling. I did reach out to the city of Denver to see whether it would be prepared to pivot on its camping ban. If the Supreme Court rules that similar bans are unlawful, I am waiting to hear back on that. Now, Jessica, why did justices question whether the grants passed law was unconstitutional? So to that, we look at the Eighth Amendment. So an issue here is whether the camping ban in Grants Pass, Oregon constitutes cruel and unusual punishment under the Eighth Amendment. Not only can a person there be fined for camping if they have no place to go. They can also be jailed. Repeat offenders have to pay more than $1,200 there if they violate the camping ban. So those are all things that the justices are having to think about and we'll likely know how the Supreme Court rules on this before the end of June. All right, it's a big one. Thanks for uh, staying on top of this, Jessica Crawford, tonight.